What's up guys, the Flux here again. Welcome back to some more Men of War. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. Uh, we're playing Born in the Fire America mod and we're back in the Wild West with another scenario. This is something we haven't really done before. I do believe I've uploaded one, max two videos previously featuring some Wild West action. Uh, but this one's gonna be good. The mod has recently been updated, so there's uh, a bunch of new maps, there's a lot of new assets and weapons, and I can't wait to check out some of the upcoming factions as well. I do believe Sweden is on the list, so we can do some cool uh, Battle of Poltava and Narva action there with the Russians. Should be super cool. Thank you, Facebook, you dumb... What we're gonna enjoy today is a shootout in a town here that's been attacked by a gang of Mexican desperados. Hey, hombre! Hey, ese! Oh! Look at them. There's 40, and uh, they're, they're just scattered out around the town. They're looting it. Uh, they've been here for a couple of hours. Uh, they've uh, looted the mayor's uh, 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 residence or whatever whoever lives here he, he seems to be fairly wealthy so they've tried to uh, loot that place as much as possible we also have some enjoying a drink outside the grand saloon and uh, yeah there's just a bunch of uh, mexican gangsters <laughs> uh, placed around the uh, town here uh, they've set fire to the church and this is something that's rather interesting this gang is led by an american priest Dressed in all black back here. He's just making sure they load up the uh, valuables onto the boat that's going to take it down river. Then they're going to continue on foot. They're not going to ever bring valuables with them. They raid along this river and have uh, all the uh, valuable items uh, loaded onto a boat and then taken away. So in case uh, they lose someone or in case they run into trouble, they don't risk losing all of the loot that they've gained on their sort of uh, crusade or whatever you want to call it. Not really a crusade, but then again, it, there seems to be some religious aspects. I haven't really developed that part of the story yet, but since the man is a previous priest, so to speak, and he is indeed American, and he leads this gang of Mexican desperados, he chooses to burn every church he crosses, so he could be some sort of antichrist or something as well. Who knows? Um, very cool indeed. Um, and what's going to happen now is that some Texas marshals and nearby villagers have um, taken up arms. They've gathered around and they've marched on the town that these gangsters are currently um, looting or besieging, so to speak. A lot of the civilians have, have run off. Some of them are inside. This might be the third or fourth uh, village that they're coming to. But my point here is not to develop a super in-depth and uh, detailed story. It's to enjoy a awesome cowboy uh, kind of Wild West firefight. Um, so let's click start and let's enjoy this. Dude, look at that firing line. So much gunpowder. Dude, they're going ham. Okay, let's take a look at the other side of the town. Our, uh... Sheriffs and marshals are moving in over here. Attacking a slightly undefended part of the uh, town. Not a lot of uh, desperados stationed out here. Some were looting the market. But they're going to sweep through him quite efficiently. So it's 40 v 40. Oh, they're going to knock him out in some melee. Interesting. He led you assholes. Hey, gringo. They're just dropping on the street. That is so cool. So the the leader of the gang back here has heard the uh, shooting. So he's going to join in. And there's so much pistol, like revolver and rifle smoke spreading throughout the streets now. This is really cool. We have some Mexicans held up over here down the center street. They killed a lot of the... Uh, Villagers nearby. Right now they're exchanging words. We have some sneaking around outside here. <laughs> I love, I love the voices. 
Oh, this is just making me think of uh, Hateful Eight, uh, Bob the Mexican. Oh, yeah, si, senor. And, uh, I suppose, uh... Oh, damn. We're going hard. But we're starting to clear it out. There's, uh, plenty of gang members remaining, but they're focused around this street here and the, the house. The, the, the prettier residence here. This is not really out of place. But, uh, who knows? Maybe a, um... Maybe, like, a uh, plantation owner or something lives here. But there's not a lot of, uh, crops and stuff to be grown in the area. So that's, uh... Perhaps a mayor or something like that. Or a rich banker. Or perhaps the founder of this beautiful city, this town, this growing city. Now, without a church and probably without the... Well, a few other buildings that have been raised here. Or perhaps not even finished construction. Who knows? They're building a barn over here. And this marketplace looks very... Um, sort of... Um, temporary. Kind of maybe a traveler's market. Who knows? But they're starting to expand the town. You can see buildings being built here at the edge. And, of course, a railroad is, is going down here as well. The Pacific Line. Yes. Whatever it's called. The Pacific Rail? <laughs> Adios, amigos. We've got the sheriff over here. So much shooting. They're still trading shots back and forth. Corner to corner, wall to wall. This is so cool. Look at them leaning around. Desperados. Some have taken up cover behind the boxes over here, holding this house. The sheriff's coming around the flank. Oh, no, these are Americans. No, they're not. They're in a standoff. In a Mexican standoff. No one's shooting. I'm not sure why. They're aiming at each other. Perhaps they're exchanging words. Drop your weapons. Oh, they're getting closer. Oh! So much for that ceasefire. That guy with the six shooter is going to go ham. He's going to take a fire to the leg. He's going to reload quickly and drop another two people. He's taking a lot of fire from uh, some gang members by the fence there. And they're going to gun him down. So there's a lot of survivors here in the center. What we should have more... I guess I'll just call them Americans in general. It sounds like it's an, a war of nations here. Mexico versus America. And it's not. I'm not even entirely sure what to call these different groups. But uh, gang members is, is one for sure. And Mexicans, I suppose. Is the leader alive? Oh no, he's bleeding out. He just he was just killed in the open. He died with his men. I suppose the the story. The, oh, that is sinister, sir. That is sinister. I gotta say that the voices adds to the action, and this firefight is is lasting for so much longer than I thought. Forty versus forty. Oh, he's down. Is that the guy with a uh, Henry rifle or something like that? And on the corner. This is so awesome. I'm sat here. Oh, I love the smoke. I love the kind of movie-like pistol sounds. And just all the debris and all the wood being torn up from all the bullets. And all the people dropping and screaming things at each other. Insults. Shack <laughs> on this. Oh, dude, he's just shot down on the ground. Well, they're starting to clear out the town. This firefight has lasted way longer than I thought. I, I'm loving this. Let's end it up with a little bonus segment with like a big, massive street shootout between the two gangs, okay? We'll gather everyone up. Look! Oh! Was that a close range shot? Okay, so great. Let's take a look at casualties. Let's uh, mark the Mexicans in uh, red and the Americans then, perhaps, in yellow. Although I think it's at this time, uh, this far out into the west, I think it's very mixed. You've got all people from all walks of life and all nationalities coming out to find fame and fortune 
in the Wild West. Um, so we've got, yes, well, more Mexican casualties or gang member casualties than the the, the civilians here or the villagers. I mean, it's a mix. We've got some miners. That guy's, these two guys are wounded. Uh, we've got, a sh I see a sheriff over there or Texas marshal. Um, you know, there's another marshal perhaps. A few just gunslingers, you know, good people. Uh, Good-hearted people that just wanted to help them liberate this town. All right now, they're just on patrol in the area. So I reckon uh, what a, a dozen survived. Good firefight. Let's take all 40 men, line them up on the line, uh, main street here, and have them go nuts on each other. I I can't wait to see that. See you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're gonna wrap up the video with a final bonus shootout. All 80 fighters will be duking it out here on the main street. Uh, let's see who wins. So without further ado, uh, let's uh, start the craziest shootout that this street has ever seen and probably will ever see because I don't think people line up like this, but uh, yeah, let's enjoy. That was pretty insane. They fire so fast. I love it. They really spam the hammer. You know, the six shooters are like... Pfft. They're really putting some fire on the enemy. That's crazy. And it looks like the Americans were faster to draw here. The Mexicans have been just gunned down. Hey. It's crazy. They're going to chase him back. We might even see... Look, he's chasing him. Oh, he tried hitting him. Oh, no. I'm not sure why he was so um, hungry for melee, but, uh, well, he allowed his uh, comrades to move up as well. That's what I really like about this mod, is that it really fits all the weapons. Dude, that guy was, like, stabbed in the gut. Did you hear that? I heard a knife being drawn. That sounded like a stab. That was cool. So, once again, yes, since there's a lot of melee weapons, like bayonets and swords and knives, and since this... This era uh, promoted a lot of kind of hand-to-hand -hand fighting as well. The weaponry wasn't always that reliable and didn't always have that kind of magazine capacity that could last you uh, comfortably in a firefight. So it really has adjusted to it, and uh, a lot of a lot of times the uh, the AI when close will go up in melee way more than they do in like the World War II mods and all that stuff. So that is really cool. But well, the marshals, miners, civilians, townsfolk, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're going to win against the gang members again in the bonus shootout. They just mowed them down. Um, wow. Good fight. Good video. If you guys want to see more Wild West action, let me know and I'll provide. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.